Over 80% of Australians live within 50 kilometres of the coast. We have amazing beaches and coastal properties in high demand. But Australia is also an incredibly flat continent. Sydney's iconic Circular Quay, our Botanic Gardens, Brisbane's Airport, Melbourne's Docklands and Perth's Circular Quay could be underwater into the future. So sea level rise will impact us, along with hundreds of millions of people globally. So sea level rise, what do we know about it? Well, did you know that sea level is not the same everywhere? Factors like wind and currents, as well as the water's temperature, cause it to bulge in some regions and even to be lower in others. And that sea level rise hasn't been the same everywhere for the same reasons. Although globally sea level has risen by an average of six to seven centimetres, in some regions it's fallen because it's been displaced. Here in this animation, the areas that are warmer colours, yellow, orange and red, these are where sea level has risen. And the dark red shows the greatest sea level rise. But notice in some areas are white. In these areas, sea level has stayed the same over the past 20 years. And in some areas, those in blue, the sea level has even dropped. Here off the east coast of the US, the parallel bands of red and blue, this is where the Gulf Stream has shifted. And if we take a closer look just north of us, here in the Western Pacific, our region has some of the greatest rises in sea level. The band of dark red is where sea level has risen very quickly. And this is because hot water pushed east to west across the Pacific. Winds and ocean currents pile warm water across the Pacific into this region. This is the same place where you have the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, where plastic pollution is collecting. On the opposite side of the Pacific, off the west coast of the US, sea level has dropped. Here cooling water collects off the west coast of the US, which has led to this drop in sea level. Although there's been rises and falls in sea level across the globe, overall sea level has risen. And you can see from this image that across the globe warmer colours, yellow, orange and red dominate. And this is very much so for us around Australia and north of us in the Western Pacific. Our rising oceans are some of the most visible signs of our warming planet. As Earth continues to warm, sea levels will continue to rise and by as much as a metre by the end of the century in 2100. In fact, over 90% of the heat trapped by greenhouse gases is stored by the oceans. The ocean is not only an important for buffering all that extra carbon dioxide we're putting into the atmosphere, but also that extra heat has a knock-on effect. This is because as the seawater heats up, it takes up more room. This is called thermal expansion. The expansion of the warming oceans was the main factor contributing to sea level rise we've just seen in the 20th century. And currently it accounts for more than half of the sea level rise. But that's not the whole story. And not only do we have expanding seawater, all that extra heat in our system has another effect. It's causing glaciers to melt and it's causing ice sheets to melt. So now we also have lots of extra water added to the oceans. But that's another story.